Today, I'll show you how to do your loop ring crypto taxes. Hello, my name is Nelly and welcome back to another wallet integration. Today we're talking about Loopring, so a very simple wallet, a very um, very easy integration if I'm being honest, but I'll tell you a little bit about them, then I'll jump into that integration, and then lastly, I'll show you where to get the necessary tax documentation. Lastly, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, I'll leave a bunch of different resources down below. Loopring builds the tools to allow anyone to live in a parallel financial system while never sacrificing self-sovereignty and security. They are Ethereum's longest running rollup, hyperscaling DeFi, payments, and NFTs. The Loopring chain does many things, AMM swaps, order book trades, payments, NFT minting slash trading. Their wallet provides additional security like social recovery. Guardians, it is a multi-signature wallet with other additional features. Okay, so that's enough about Loopring. Let me show you how to do the integration. First step, as always, log into your Coinly account. It's completely free to set up if you don't have one, so don't worry. Um, if, once you're logged in and set up, go into the wallets area and click on add wallet. From here, we're gonna type in Loopring and there it is. As you can see, super easy integration. All you need is your um, public address, which I will show you where to get. And currently I'm using MetaMask. So if you're using a different um, wallet, that's perfectly fine. The procedure will be similar. Just find your Ethereum public key. There is mine. I'm gonna copy and paste it and click import. And it's as simple as that. Now all your Ethereum transactions of Loopring on Loopring uh, have been imported into Coinly. And once that data is imported, go into your transactions area and check underneath the hood, making sure everything is sitting correctly with you, not just your Loopring transactions, but any other wallets and exchanges you might have on here. If you have staking, make sure to tag that correctly. So send to pool, send from pool. And obviously I've made videos on that if you're interested. And once you're happy with that, go into the tax reports area to get one final summary of all your crypto activity throughout the year. And then lastly, select a tax report appropriate for your needs. And we have plenty of different tax reports. So for the US, we have the IRS Schedule D Form 8949. You can also export to TurboTax both online and desktop versions. We have reports for UK, Sweden, Norway, France, Switzerland, Australia, and then lastly, Canada, Germany, and other countries. We have the complete tax report, which is a document you can print off and send directly to an accountant combined with your other tax documentation if you like, or alternatively, you can invite them to Coinly to set up their account seat firm here with us. And then lastly, what I tell everyone is check your country's rules and regulations because this tax report might be deductible. But that'll do it for today. If you have any further questions, comments, concerns, a bunch of different resources down below, starting off with the Coinly Help Center with countless different crypto tax related articles. We have a forum section where you can talk to members of our community as well as our staff. Uh, we have a feedback section if you're having any issues with our software. And then lastly, we have a contact section if you'd like to send us a message directly, we'd love to help you out. But I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.